Now we have to wait for it to start. Here we go. The Hangout is live on air. Here we are for Good Beer Live. Number four, is it? Is this the fourth one? Yes. Yes. Four, fourth four. Good Beer Live. All the beers are kindly brought to you by Honest Brew. And more about them later. We've got a nice code for you, so stick around for that. And I'm joined, as always, by my lovable rogues. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mr. Rob from Hopsy. I uh... and, Cra- <laughs> and Craig from Kent's Beer Reviews. Oh, oh it's Kent from Craig's Beer Reviews. Either way, oh, either way, you'll find him. <laughs> yep. So, how's it going, chaps? It's going very well. Um, excited to try these beers, really, because they've been we've had them a little while, haven't we? But yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's not had any of them before, so yeah. No, I haven't had any of these ones. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to give it a go. I'm, I'm gasping. Yeah, I'm one, as always, I'm I think excited. that was the last time. Yeah, one Listen, brewery. I'm excited about I'm excited about Craig's hat. Oh, well. <laughs> We're all yeah. excited about that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit cold. So. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> so yeah. But yes, I agree. Spitting feathers. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, what a good segue to the first beer. Oh. Spitting feathers. Oh dear. Anyone want to intro this one? Uh, Stone, <laughs> Stone of Corvids. <laughs> yeah, so this is Stone the Crows IPA uh, from Brewski, brewed in collaboration with Ale Farm Brewing, which we d- didn't realise until just before the broadcast. Uh, 6.5%. <laughs> um, and, yeah, uh, Rob, do you know a bit more about this one? Well, I mean, as you, as you mentioned, yeah, brewing collaboration with Ale Farm, which I didn't notice until I looked at the bottle, which I think is a sweet, sweet irony that we <laughs> noticed it from looking at the bottle. And it's yeah. Simon's catchphrase, and Simon is notorious for not even reading the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> but as it, as, it, as it says on the side, I'm not going to read the whole spiel, but obviously they, they, they kind of like credit Simon from Real Ale Craft Beer Channel and about it being his catchphrase and his exclamation with fans of beer that he likes. But also, it's a tribute to all us um, kind of beer reviews as well. So I thought it was, it was a good opportunity to um, kind of get this on the show. And, and Brewski as well, I, I don't know if you two have had much. I mean, I've had quite, quite a few. And um, kind of one of, the, one of the early emerging kind of hazy IPA brewers in Europe. Yeah, do some cracked sours as well. Some sour oh, yeah. IPAs, then really good. A, a birdie once told me, <laughs> oh, 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 he's on fire. <laughs> and the, the little smell. stubby bottle just reminds me of when I was about 16, having like little Stellas. Yeah, it's like, like a French <laughs> lager bottle kind of thing, isn't it? Look at that, I've even done a nice. Uh, Four finger four as well. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Obviously, I'm playing completely by design. Yeah. There is quite a lot of yeast at the bottom of the bottle. There is. Um, I, this has been in my our collective fridges for probably a couple, uh, maybe about three or four weeks now. Mm-hmm. Um, and but still, it's um, and I give it a gentle, gentle nudge, but it's still got plenty of, plenty of haze. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of slop at the bottom. <laughs> so Bring it chuck a, it all in. Such an appetizing. Is he going to give it a, you know, tip it all in and um, yes, give us a little speech, a little speech about the secondary fermentation process? No. <laughs> that's what. That's a bit of a. That's an inward jerk. That's a bit I don't. Of I don't. Jerk. I don't do any uh, research. No. I would have looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Without any further ado. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, I can do it all night long. I oh, know. Let's do it all night long. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I'm really thirsty. So like... Thrilling. Yes. <laughs> Thrilling. <laughs> oh, look at that. It is uh, quite a nice uh, Merc bomb. It's not that, you know, that really intense kind of almost um, smoothie kind of colour. But yeah, no. it's, it's, it, although yeah, it's nice and uh, pale. It's, it's going that kind of way, I guess. Yeah, so 6.5% as well. So, you I mean, a respectable ABV. Yeah. 
session strength or something. Session. <laughs> session. Yep. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, you, could, you could have a couple of these set outside at the barbecue. <laughs> Maybe yeah. with some um, Dorito Chili Heat Wave. Yeah, with your, with your top off or something like that, you know. Probably <laughs> <laughs> top off. Anyway, I think we right. you need to focus. It's yeah. too easy to. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm so thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> so I could smell it for a while away. Let's give it a sniff then. So, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Wow. It's quite sweet. That is. Loads of pineapple for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like there's a touch of vanilla or something. It is like that tart like yes. a tart thing to it. Like tart like passion fruit cheesecake is something yeah. that a lot of these beers always remind me of. I like it. Passion fruit cheesecake, yeah, passion fruit yogurt. Yeah, definitely a, a, a yogurt. <laughs> yeah, because there's like a slightly saline kind of like um, saltiness nearly, isn't there? I think that's that kind of so salty lime lemon kind of thing. What you're kind of getting is kind of pineapple. Mm -hmm. I mean, as um, passion fruit. Yeah, and you said vanilla. I was. What was I thinking? Yeah, definitely. There is something on the kind of sweeter side of things. Lemon meringue pie, th yeah. things, things like that as well. Ooh. Smells great. Yeah, it smells really good, especially because we've been hanging on to it for a couple of couple of weeks as well. It's it's um yeah. damn good. So shall we? Let's go for it. Yep. Cheers. 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 Lovely. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. Definitely pineapple, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, kind of lemon and lime. I get towards the back end as well, because it's kind of there is, there's a well. I didn't pour all the other all the chunks in mine, so it's still it's quite a considering it's quite hazy. It's quite a light bodied beer. It's yeah, quite crisp. It's got a, quite yeah. a, a effervescence to it as well. Mm. Yeah, there's a, there's there's I don't know, quite, can't quite put my finger on it, but there's just something a little bit lacking, and it might be it might be that mouthfeel. It doesn't. It doesn't. Fit. It sort of like falls off the cliff for me. Like it's. Mm. You get like an intense sort of like pineapple, like and then and then it's quite like I don't know if it has got oats in it, but I'm getting like a big oaty thing, and then it just falls off a cliff. Mm. Yeah, it's um. I guess that's what I'm, uh, I guess what I'm, that's what I'm getting with the kind of the, the crispness that it kind of like it appears, yeah. then it disappears quite quite. I mean, it leaves as soon as it arrived. Yeah. Um, I'm get. I'm getting more of a, a passion fruity kind of vibe. That initial mm. uh, sort of third of the of the of the uh, mouth kind of feel. Yeah, kind of like a carbonated water kind of thing as well. <laughs> yeah, you know if you get fizzy water, it's just got a bit yeah. of that. I don't know if it's yeah. just because it, I, I can't really see the glass, but because um, because it is quite opaque actually when I put me put it in front of my light. And um, so I don't know if it's just got quite a rampant carbonation to it. A a touch, touch of yeah. lemon sh sherbet about it as well. Just a, yes. little, yeah. a little bit. I don't know if you can see the carbonation rolling up the sides of the glass, but... <laughs> the, um, I guess this is one thing I was thinking about last night. I was at my local beer shop and we were, uh, somebody had shared a, a homebrew with me and... Um, <laughs> Or a bit kind of like, oh, what's what's going on here? I mean, is is it bitter or is it if it is it stringent? And one of the things I start thinking is, have we just become really acclimatized to a very specific style of IPA at the moment? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's enough of a breath because this is, it, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of pilsner esque in a lot of ways. It's kind mm. of it's not as chewy as you'd expect because it's hazy. It's not as juicy as you'd expect because it's. Because you mean because it's hazy and it's got, I mean, Brewski do a lot of beers with fruit in as well, so you're kind of expecting those things. Not that I don't like it. No, yeah, it's very pleasant. No, no, no. But yeah, you're yeah. just comparing it to what you've kind of been accustomed to know over the yeah, last. Yeah, I, I think exactly. I think with the with the aroma, it it sort of build it build builds up in your mind, and you start sort of thinking about what it's actually going to taste like, and and what it's going to feel like, and then it sort of when it doesn't deliver. 
it sort of stands out a little bit more. But maybe Wait. this is what they were going for the whole time because it is super drinkable, and you and you want to yeah. keep going back for it because it just yeah. you just want it, you didn't need to keep topping up the flavour almost. It's got that. It's, it's very, it's very sweet. Of course, yeah, I don't find it sweet at all. Well, the, the beginning for me, it's it's, right. but it's not much body to the beer. Mm. I think. I think that's. Yeah. I mean, it's it's still it's still pretty tasty. Don't get me mm. wrong, but it's got that. It's. I don't know. That initial sweet. There's it's a very quite, sweetness at the front. Yeah, it's quite brief, I guess, in that sense. Yeah, it just. Yeah, like you say, it falls off a cliff a little bit. Not particularly bitter at all, for me. Mm. No, it's not. It's that well, I think that is because it it does just go. There's like a, there's lots of like initial little pangs of everything. Like you get a little bit of passion fruit, you get a little bit of bitterness, you get a little bit of that oaty thing, and then it's just like boop, <laughs> have another yeah. sip. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. It's not if you've had uh, like their ma their mango beers and stuff like that, which um. Are just at the chock full of actual fruit. Mm -hmm. but I think they do have that that little sharpness to them, but I mean, because yep. they've got a lot, a lot, a lot of fruit pulp kind of added to them, they're, they're big, juicy, fruity kind of like things. Yep. And that's when I first heard of these were from watching Peter over in Denmark doing reviews, mm -hmm. and that's what I've become accustomed to. I've had I've had another, I've had some like Barbarian, and I think there's another one which I've had locally, which haven't had fruit, and they kind of like do take in this direction, which is slightly. Slightly West Coast esque mm -hmm. in a way. It's got a bit of bitterness to it. Yeah, definitely. But I guess that's when you say you keep coming back for it. It's because it does have that little kind of like bit of sharpness to it. So you want to yeah. come back and you get that immediate hit that Craig was kind of uh, talking about. So yeah, it's decent. Decent for sure. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm nearly finished. Down the crowns. <laughs> No, I won't be putting my glass down. My glass will be staying firmly in my hand. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you think it's decent, but I'm not. I'm no. not. I'm, yeah, I'm not stoning any crows. No. no. But what? What an homage, though. Yes. Uh, no, it's fantastic. I mean, I, yeah. it's it's incredible that. Um, to, to I mean, even though we're not named on it, which I think is a travesty. Maybe that's why I'm just bitter. It's like ashes. It's like ashes in my mouth. Where's my fucking tribute beer? <laughs> Come on. I heard they're going to do one unclear for years next. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the, the mm. trademark infringement on that one. Yeah. <laughs> if if someone if someone does actually do do a beer called that, I'm going to send them a link to my video, the first video where I say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. Rule okay. please. That'll be the version. <laughs> that be yours. Will be the version two. <laughs> 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 you like that? See, it's gone. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd, it'd be a good good series because you you could do unclear for two years, unclear for three years. Yeah. And just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud, Cloud water. That would be that would be a good one. Good one for them. <laughs> unclear for years. V one. <laughs> v V two. Well, well, I finished that whole bottle already. Oh, well, because. Yeah. I just kept, I just kept drinking. We'll have, we'll have a chat. Like, we'll have a chat later, Jake. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I tend to do that with the first one. It's been a theme of these. I tend to like have. I, I forget that we sort of got to go on to other ones, and I pour the lot. Yeah. <laughs> I need multiple glasses. That that that's that what that's what will help. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Well, yeah, it's um. I can't remember any. I've had about three or four beers now. I think from Brewski. Mm. Um, I think what was it? Their sour. I can't remember. Something clown or something. We had like pa passion Ferber and all that. That one we had, didn't we? Yeah, I can't remember what it was called. Um, but yeah, we had it. Well, last last year when it last May or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. That was really really yeah. nice. It was just. Um, I'm not. This is the first. I'm pretty sure it's the first kind of. IPA I've had from them, so. All oh, right. Not not bad at all. Not bad. Yeah. And, and, and as far as Ale Farm goes, I, I think um I think I, I've only ever had their beers in like collaboration form. <laughs> I've I've yeah. never had like an Ale Farm 
beer all by, all by itself. I don't know. I'll last year. Last year, yeah. I'll, I'll oh, yeah. I'll, I probably I have had them. <laughs> I, can't remember, I can't remember what what ones they were. Um, Golden Orb and... Oh, it's here anyway. Yeah, Golden Orb and something else. That's what they are. Oh, I have, I have had them then. <laughs> it's just bad, bad memory. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's um, too many beers. Re and then it's turning the game. Reverberate IPA is the other one. I'll be it. Well remembered. Yeah, I've, cool. got the, I've, got the, yeah, I've got the thing. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember to look at it. Um, Craig's prepared. Well, well, I don't know about that, but yeah, nice. Nice stuff. Right, should we go on to the, uh, go on to the yeah. next one? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, why not? Uh, well, what, Shall what I introduce it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's go the, for it. It's the Pelican one. So Ooh. this is the next one we've got is um, Tsunami Export Stout from Pelican Brewing in um, where was it uh, Tillamook, Oregon, in America. The reason why I, I selected this one, I've never had anything from Pelican. Um, the beer that um, I've known about from them was, uh, I think it's like their barrel aged imperial stout called Mother of All Storms. And I think that was the uh, the last beer that Mark Starr um, reviewed on the Hoppery. And he was like one of the, my, my main inspirations for kind of starting doing beer reviews. Um, so I, I kind of saw this, I thought, ooh, that sounds fun. Um, export stout. No, it's a style you don't get a hell of a lot of. No. Um, but ones I have had, I've enjoyed. I must admit, it's a brewery. Even before we picked them all out, it, it stood out to me when they first listed it. I'm like, oh. Funnily enough, I was looking at one of my books, like some of the, I think, it, I can't remember what book it was, maybe a 1001 beers to try before you die, so or something like that. And um, heard about this brewery from that, really. Oh, uh, right. That'll have been another of all stands, I bet. That'll have been probably. The beer, yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, I just like the look of the uh, the brew house on on right next to the coast ah, when they, when they first right. started. Yeah. It was in 1996 they first started. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. I mean, the mother of all storms was like one of those early whales. But I mean, when I first started getting into beer, that was one of, like some of the people would trade for back in the day. But I'm sure now it's like I mean, it's a shelf beer. I bet now. Well, it was on the coast. It was on the coast, so yeah. it could have been a while. Oh. Right. <laughs> Telling you, it's uh, <laughs> on fire today. <laughs> not not whales. Oh. We just we just done, we just done that bit before. <laughs> he doesn't stop. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he just keep, keeps going. <laughs> he's, got his, he's, got his, he's got his funny hat on. <laughs> We've lost a viewer. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the glass. I'm, much, I'm, I'm going pretty much kind of black as night, really. I'm holding it in front of me, light, in my light, and maybe getting a little bit of kind of like darkish red around the edges, but yeah. pretty dark. It looks like cola in a lot of ways. It's got that color. Yeah, it does. It's just got that sort of, uh, that sort of like head to it. Like. Jet, jet black. Mm. Jet black beer, sure. Yeah, yeah. Tiny pack bubbles on, on the. Yeah, I mean, it look, I mean, it looks spot on, doesn't it, really? Yeah. It just it's, 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 it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's definitely a, a chaser. Should we go for a sniff? Indeed. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Wow, oh, wow, wow. God. Mm. That's lovely. How much chocolate can you get? Absolutely. Loads of chocolate. Mm. It's definitely, um, it's it's kind of somewhere a bit for me between cocoa powder and um, kind of Hershey's Kisses, that kind of like that, that kind of waxy American chocolate. Yeah, right. It's not kind of rich Belgian chocolate, but it's quite intense from because it's not got any additional additives or anything like no yeah. adjuncts, but it smells of chocolate pretty it, intensely. It smells chewy. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little like Turkish delight thing to it. You know, yeah. like a. I think there's a slight sort of red, red berry edge. Yeah, definitely. A, there's something a darker fruit going on there. This, it's definitely yeah. a like nice roasty, 
roasty toasty malt. Huh. Yeah, kind of like a coffee that has got. I mean, some some coffees have like that kind of burnt berry edge, don't they? Yeah. yeah. But something kind of milky, like um, I was just looking at the bottle. I don't see if they could mention any lactose or anything like that. Um, but it doesn't mention it. So, but I mean, give me this blind, I'd say I'd lactose in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Don't think it's particularly. It's got like it's got like a bit of yeah. There's a bit of sharpness to it. And but yeah, for me that's like red berry, maybe something a bit like getting some like brandy or something like in it. There's definitely something mm. something going on. Yeah, right at the back end for me that. But I think it smells yeah. damn good. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like a really comforting smell. <laughs> yeah, I kind of don't want to drink it because I don't want it not to kind of follow through because it's incredible. <laughs> oh, I think, I think let's go for it. I could gulp this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! Wow, that's oh, lovely. That, oh, that is good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, that is good. <laughs> yeah, that's that lovely. Is... Yeah, that's and even the, one of the reasons I picked it to to be on on the, on the show was because I think it's it might be a bit overlooked um, for for people who are probably going on honest brew. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to kind of like shine light on it because I was quite excited when I saw it because of so to my previous awful. knowledge of it. So I thought, well, I want to try it. Yeah. Maybe some people who haven't been knocking around as long as I have um, might be like, oh, who were they? No. Mm. No. No. Mm. But it's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really... Uh, oh. It's almost... There's a slight liqueurish thing going on. Like, not caramel, but it's got that... Oh. Burn sugar. Yeah, it's just, but it's, it's almost like a soft centered wrapped around with like chocolate and coffee and yeah. that, that ro- roastiness. It's really good. It, yeah. def- it definitely like, you, it, it's sort of like you get that chocolate up front and then it goes to like a roasty coffee thing mm. for me anyway. And, th- and then it sort of like t- tails off into a bit of like a sort of a burnt, burnt wood type thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that um, kind of filter coffee kind of like. It's black coffee. Yeah, it's got that slight kind of like bit bitterness to it. What you get from um, like a really high percentage chocolate as well. It's a, it's a lingering kind of bitterness as well at the end. I'm just looking yeah. on the palate, just hanging around. Yeah, a little tang at the end. Yeah, I love it, it when it's it like it has no gimmicks and it is just it's just delicious. They've they've <laughs> they've not had to do anything to it, and but it's it's so complex you could. You could really pick this beer apart, but on the other hand, you could just sit there and and like knock it back. Yeah, I mean this. This yeah. is just so drinkable, mm. it really. Is. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, it's relatively simple in that sense, but I think the, the kind of the, the flavors that it's got in it just really well product, pronounced. It's really nice and made body wise. It's kind of like bang on medium, I think, for me, and I think that's what it yeah. should be. Export yeah. stout. When I think of export stout, it's always like. The, like the the decent Guinness where you get in supermarkets, yeah, mm. yeah. and that's I mean, that it's that kind of beer, isn't it? It's it's drinkable, but it's quite it's got a, a it's got a boatload of flavour. Yeah. yeah, it's seven percent ABV, forty five IBUs. Yeah. It's it's like more more chocolatey than like some stouts where they say they've got like <laughs> cacao in it and all that sort of thing. Absolutely, <laughs> it's incredible, it is, really. Yeah. So chocolatey. just get get on there. Hopefully, yeah. it's still there. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was the other day. <laughs> uh, I will find it in a minute. Hmm. But yeah, it's a, it's that's a flying down game. though. I'm having to. Oh yeah, pause it's, 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 it's Yeah, I've, I've re- recapped mine. Oh, I'm going to do what I did with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's that's cracking. Let's yeah, recap. that was a that was oh. a good choice on that one. Yes, no, that's, that's a lovely, lovely beer. Mm. Uh, this beer. What's he doing? Is it still available? If my computer wants to start... Then... It isn't now, because everybody's watching this, and everybody's <laughs> frantically <laughs> rushing over to honestbrew.co.uk honest yeah, and before. buying this beer. They got it before mm. me. So it's like, okay. Anyway, there's, there's lots of beers on there, so... Damn good. It is a good beer. It really is. 
Buy it. I need That's some. That's what I say. Yeah. Do yourself so, a favour. So, um, who, who do you reckon brings that? Who do you reckon brings that in? Because it's the first time I've seen Pelican beers recently. Mm. It's interesting. Mm. It's to see you. Yeah. Be interesting to because because with the mm. whole sort of cold like shipment thing becoming more prevalent, I think we're going to probably have a bit of a American beer renaissance. It it won't be the sort of like six month old bottles of stone that it used to be sort of thing. <laughs> I guess that's one of the nice things about. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, when I look on online shops, um, I, I'm a little bit wary of buying hoppy beers, but I'm quite happy to buy dark beers. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's that's another reason why I thought, oh, we'll definitely have a go on that because I think we've got some. That's one of the great things at the moment. We've got such a great uh, amount of kind of fresh hoppy beers coming to the UK. You're not as kind of like ta tantalised by kind of um, exports, but when it's dark, I think you, you may as, you may as well have a go. I mean, and this is this is a cracker. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting more of that if, it, if it's still available. So, yes, probably is. Mm. Yes, get on this brew, buy some. Yeah. Clear out the old glass. You actually have just got one glass. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at the water. <laughs> Some nice so, stout water. We clearly, need, we clearly need to get you guys a, a, a lovely honest brew glass, don't we? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Or, or free. I'm joking. <laughs> yes, free. Yeah. <laughs> I do have multiple that's glasses. It's just like I was just lazy and uh, only brought one with me. I'm pretty sure it's still available. So. Uh, yeah, I won't be surprised. I mean, as I said, box. it's one of those things I think it'd be easy overlooked. And, but don't. Do so at your peril. <laughs> oh, there's only eight left in stock, so get on there now. <laughs> it, it's like the, it's like a really cheap version of QVC, is this? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it's not more. We've, we've got eight. We've got eight. We've got eight of these. Eight of these. It's not now. I've only got eight left. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I've got, yeah. I've, got, I've got a strong future in um, yeah in, in that clearly. Yeah, it's going to be. I wouldn't be the first. Like Maver yeah. Maverick Cold, um, I think did a bit of um, who who used to do videos on YouTube as well. Um, I think she did a bit of um, bit of QVC in the past as well. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I remember, I the, I remember that. Joke. Oh, oh Simon God, yeah. The Ace. Oh, they yeah. need a show. The, Simon needs to have a beer show on QVC. you got to keep oh, going. You've got to keep being able to, no matter what happens, because there's loads of bloopers where stuff messes up and they just keep going like yeah. nothing's <laughs> happened. That's what you got to do. Like The set falls down behind you. You don't react to it. You just keep selling. Keep selling. you got to keep <laughs> doing it. <laughs> cool. So is it time oh. for the third beer? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Do you want to intro this one, Craig? Yeah, I'll give it a go. Um, let me just uh, sort all this out, let that load. Here we go. Right then. So this is their, I think it's their second uh, batch of, um, they got hops, yeast, and yes. the uh, malt. Um, so this is the yeast trilogy. Um, it's a collaboration, Northern Monk and 18 Street Brewing. Yes. From, from Philadelphia? In, um, I think so. I should. It doesn't, it doesn't say. It doesn't say it can. I, I have looked up. I can't. I can't remember. But um, so it's a double dry hop saison coming in at nine percent ABV. Ooh. Uh, Four forty mil can. Um, there's a bit of right underneath, but yeah, it's one of them kind of pull off labels like. Is it? A lot of lot, a lot. Is it? Oh, no, it's not. not, no, 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 it's not. I assumed it was. It reveals a nice what's shiny. Going, what's going? What's going on, Northern Monk? Oh dear! Yeah. <laughs> if you okay. knew how much those labels cost. Yeah, uh, well. So I'm this not, was a result of Dark City. So uh, 18th Street came over for Dark City. Oh, there you go. Whilst they were over, they brewed this collaboration. Excellent. I noticed that 
the malt they've got um, spelt and rye in it. Oh. That should be quite interesting for a saison. Well, you, you do get a bit of a range of um, grains in rye. I mean, uh, grains in a, uh, a saison sometimes, especially in a wheat and spelt. I'm sure I've had that kind of thing before. That's definitely from a like a Belgian or French kind of yeah. brewed version. I had the Cloudwater table beer that had rye in it. Okay. A big table, and I did not I did not care for that beer. The little table was like brilliant, but like the big table yeah. was a Yeah. It, it was I got like T C P like nail polish weirdness mm. to it, but hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The head of mine is absolutely gigantic. Well, <laughs> it just like I, I, I just I just stopped because it was it was going mad when I poured yeah, it in the yeah. angle, so I just stopped. Oh, my well, fine, but I mean, I've I've poured a beer before, so I didn't struggle. <laughs> my, my my can was like when I opened it. Look at this. Oh, no, mine's fine. Well. Wow, okay. Five well, finger. Five finger. Five finger. <laughs> two, two Three. Yeah, and this color wise, is that lovely kind of like? It's a very dusky kind of like sunset of a yeah, kind of like mm. kind of yep. perfect orange, slightly hazy. Yeah, nice carbonation as you'd expect. Yeah, not Just rampant like a... though. It's got it's got a real tight kind of like puffed up head, yeah. kind of like mm. you kind of champagne esque in a lot of ways. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not a rampant line or nothing like that. No, but... no, no. no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's. Uh... Shall we? Get a nose on it. Come on, good swell. Cool. Okay. Wow. It takes me in two directions, that. Yeah, there's... I I initially got a kind of a bready thing, and then it just went the other way, and it's got some kind of... For me, the two things I'm getting are big, juicy hops, kind of uh, mango, um, uh, pineapple... And then, I mean, quite soon after that, because that's a nice, nice bit, and maybe kind of slightly bubble gum esque. Yeah. And then it starts taking me down the yeast route, which is a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Um, I'm. I need to find a, be- a better way of saying it, but me, for me, it's often it's got a slightly soapy edge, which reminds me of kind of washing powder. Yeah, I'm getting. Mm. I, f- I was I'm thinking some kind of something like that, but then I'm getting almost like a Belgian. Floral, kind of, I guess. Belgian yeasty kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. All lemony and citrusy. Funky. Apricots. I've no idea what a horse blanket smells like, so I can't really <laughs> say it. So. No. <laughs> this def- definitely doesn't... Well, if it, I, I, I'm very keen to meet this horse if it smells like this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of floral, but kind of yeah, peach and apricot and, get, and, and man- mango. It's kind of IPA-esque in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. But then we've a definite, definite say something, definite kind of true say some kind of quality. Mm-hmm. Oh, that smells oh, really good. It's interesting. It does, it does smell really good. Like you say, it is, it's, mm-hmm. it's IP out front, and then sort of the more you inhale it, you, you get that sort of a Belgian yeastiness to it. Yeah, it's definitely like the more the back end of the uh, the aroma. Mm. Well, wow, that smells good though. It smells nice. It does go for a sip. Yeah, why not? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. First thing that hit me was the quite a considerable body to it. Mm. Quite, quite hoppy. Mm. It's very hoppy. I'm I definitely picking up those kind of that, that that Ryan spell, and that mm. that really t- rem- uh, gives me a very kind of like. Authentic saison, of like, but but a bigger size. That kind of that malt character really kind of that reminds me of saison. It's got a little kind of tang to it. It's got a little bit of yeah, at the end, maybe kind of lemon and lime, and but kind of bay leaf for me, quite prominently. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's um, mm. bubble gum. Uh, yeah. Bubble gum. That that there's a slight funkiness at the end. Mm. Yeah, get, I'm getting a little bit of bit of sort of like sourdough breadiness to it. A white grape. That's great. Mm. That's really good because because I, I had a dry hop saison from Northern Monk before. I can't remember which one it was. It was part of the patrons project. 
and that to me just wasn't a very like balanced beer. It might as well have been a a uh, IPA. Mm -hmm. It was just it was almost too like too hoppy. Because if you say it's yeah. a saison, it still has to taste like a really good saison. And this is what this has in, at the core of it. It is a really good saison. But it's got like those different characteristics that the malt and the hops are bringing to it. It's, re it's really tasty. 9%. God, dear, really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 4.40 imagine, mil tannin, 9% saison. <laughs> imagine, imagine drinking this in the, in the summer months. Um, oh, dear, our Lord. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, that, I guess that's the thing. I mean, when you think every everything's DDH at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. yeah that, um, so be, yeah. the in thing. So, I mean, so sometimes it can be a bit like, well, I, am I going to lose the the style that they're aiming for because it's been like hot to high heavens? It's been mm. threatening a, a, a way that a, a beer that is intended to be hoppy is threat. Um, but you I mean, but I think with this, it definitely it, its core is definitely a really nicely made saison. I mean, and I'm I'm a bit on and off with saisons to be honest, but I think that's a really nice one. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of the, the the additional kind of the obviously the double dry hopping adds a really pleasant character to it for me, mm -hmm. and, and and what lifts it from what could have been maybe a little bit heavy at times because it is a nine percent beer. It does have all those kind of saisony things, which saisons usually a lot lot lighter in ABV as well. So I think it's just those two two parts have been brought together really nicely. You definitely are. Well, a hoppy front end and then yeah. it goes into that kind of full on saison y mm. kind of like you say sourdough. That's 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 probably a good uh, but, but it's, it's it's the uh the, the sort of balance of everything works really well, doesn't it? Nothing's sort of outshining each other. That's I think that's what makes this beer work. It's not um nothing's killing your palate or nothing's sort of out of place, is it really? Yeah, it, everything works in harmony. It's all very light as well. Considering mm. obviously the ABV and the flips, yeah. it's, it's just very kind of. Even someone who's not had a saison before made like this. It's not one of them real mm. oh wow kind of in your face kind of saison. It's, mm. just, it's quite mellow, which is really yeah. Nice. As, you, as you're saying, I mean, it, it's I mean at nine percent. I mean, you'll get a lot of IPAs that become a little bit syrupy, and that could have easily gone in that direction, but it's not at all. Yeah, mm. interesting. Well, what were the um, other ones like? Uh, I didn't get a chance to try the hops and the malt. The hops was phenomenal, I thought. Yeah, I've had hops. I didn't. I hadn't had the the uh, the malt one. That the malt was the uh, black um, barley wine with hops, Ed, which was maybe really good. I've had a. Yeah. But the hops was that hops was excellent. Absolutely, good. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, I, I had that one. I've, I've had a a fair taster. Uh, just before New Year, mm. um, of the black barley wine, and it was yeah, it was pretty uh, stonking. I think they still got it down my local, but anyway, but it's still it's still available on Ice Brew. This one, Good. so and, and and how how topical how topical eh? as a North amongst out there crowdfunding tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. For a, if, if they hit it, they're going to bar in London, isn't it? Bar in Manchester. Half a yeah, right. I think you're yeah, gonna think... sort me out. Gonna sort out my kitchen. <laughs> sort in the deal. If you, that's <laughs> sort out Rob's kitchen. Yeah, nice yeah. one. Thank you. Indeed. New laptop. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, no. It's, it's great. I mean, I think, and we. I guess you look at everybody who has crowdfunded successfully it's always been a brewery who people kind of care about and mm -hmm. i think uh, another among i think kind of grow and grow and grow i don't know what if you guys have had much from them recently um uh, drip, drips and drabs just i'd had the uh well this this their other collab the, the hops that was back in what being a january yeah they're on a bit of a a bit of a, a, bit of a ramp, rampage at the moment. I mean, thing, Death and Glory was, I guess, one of the, mo the, the most recent releases. I don't think it's the most recent. They've done a couple since, actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, that uh, Glory was gl glorious. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, and Death was Death was decent. But I mean, I mean, it's quite interesting to see. Uh, Seeing what the kind of the influence that Colin um, has had since he's kind of got there, and, and I think I think quality's taken a you know, like a, a a new step up. 
Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, they do some great beers. I mean, I try to keep up with it two or three years ago with all their releases and stuff, and to a point you could. And then it just yeah. got, and then they, and then they went and started these patron projects. It's like, well, <laughs> good luck. Um, but every everyone I've had are very good, but you just, you know. I had a kind of dark arches on my way home today, which is their black IPA, which has only just come back. Oh, right. And that was lovely. That was lovely. Yeah. My train be at home today. Yeah, I saw it on Instagram. Good. Yeah, nice photo. too. <laughs> were, were you on the floor for that one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Up. You fell over again. <laughs> kneeling. I'm fucking freezing outside. Whip, whip my gloves off. <laughs> Cannot floor. <laughs> leaning, leaning on floor. Yeah, my, my photo. Yeah. All, in, all in the name of a decent, um, decent bit, bit of grammage. I mean, it's it's like the grand. mile. There's that bloke again lying on the ground. Taking pictures of beer. Taking beer. Where is it? York. Cool, nice. is it York Station. It is, yes. So if you see someone around five to five to five on a Friday Friday oh, tea time, um, taking a picture of a kind of beer on the platform, that's me. <laughs> I've been, been hood on today and everything, so I was a bit more concerned that I'd be um, like accosted by security guards. <laughs> I, I, I love to see the same sort of thing, like rush hour on the tube, <laughs> like someone like leaned on the platform trying to take a picture no. as everyone's like barging past to get you home. Get, you just get, you just get trampled on. Just... Yeah, they won't care. <laughs> yeah. Nice massage. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Um, yeah, lovely stuff. It's a good beer, it really is. Cheers, yummy. Some good stuff. So, if you would like any beers from Good Beer Live, they've kindly given us a coupon code. So, it's ten pound off and free shipping, all orders over thirty-five quid, uh, with the code Good Beer Live, all in capitals. You can discover a range of beers from the best independent craft breweries around the world. All of the Stuff that you seen tonight, I think, still available, uh, as well as beers from Beaver Town, Cloudwater, Siren, many, many more. Uh, all the terms and conditions are on the website, but yeah, utilize the code because it's a damn good offer. Well, the free delivery is just a little, little cherry, little cherry on the on the top there. A lot of free delivery. Yeah, free delivery. Like I'm a sucker for it. I'll buy anything just to get free delivery. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Jake. I know you're like me. You're a serial kind of like um, br a browser yeah. on, on <laughs> online shops, kind of putting things in your basket. On the Mickler shop, I'm doing it all the time, and I never buy anything. If they yeah. gave me a little sweet bit, of, oh, I'll be all over it. Yeah, Maybe a free free postage. Boom! I'd have bought those cycle imperial stouts this morning. I've done that. I've done that three times when I was I had a few beers back beginning of last year, and uh, yeah, I ended up buying them. So, <laughs> yeah, so, the mega hall. And then I woke up in the morning and I was like, <laughs> oh, no. did I really do that? Did that really happen? I thought it was a dream. I just woken up from it and it's like, no, I've done it. And about three days later, another one, another one. <laughs> it's, that's like the beer geek's equivalent of going to a lap dancing club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Just throw a buddy at the oh, that, I can relate to it. I can relate. And, the, and the regret in the morning as well. I can relate to that. <laughs> oh, did I really? Did I, did I pay for that on my card? Oh, I think that I, would be yeah, I'll, probably remember, I'll probably remember that more. But, but yeah, um, yeah, it's contactless nowadays. Uh, That'd oh. be great, like a like a G string with a <laughs> card reader on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's another topic. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. for 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 a chat that's maybe later, but, but so, yeah. maybe afterwards. So I'm I'm gonna ask the question. Out of the three we've had tonight, what's what's your favourite? Um this Pelican from yeah. me is where I'm hard down. Agree as well. Hard agree as well. Just it's... pure high quality gear. Yeah. Uh, Lovely stuff. But yeah, they're, they're all they're all very nice beers, to be honest. Um but yeah, that, that one really wow wowed me a little bit. Well, they're all they're all good beers. They're this, all good beers. Just, yeah. And then we had them live. Yeah. That's the gist. <laughs> indeed, indeed. But uh, are there any comments? Shit, be alive. Like, go for it. 
Oh, sorry, carry on, Rob. No, we'll have to do like a, a mega load of um, a mega load of kind of shit beers. Yeah. No, shit beer yeah. live. Uh, and, <laughs> and you have you have to drink all of it. You can't. Um, yeah. <laughs> we, we'll we'll nick uh, Peter set Master of Hobbits idea. <laughs> yeah, set time limit. Time limit. Maybe we'll do Not like a, a maybe we'll do like a. A charity, a charity live stream or something. <laughs> but we get twenty-four hours, twenty-four beers, but they've got to be Fuck you, absolute man. dog crap. <laughs> oh, that sounds pleasant. I, I, I've, I said, could, I've said I've said on the internet now, so yeah, I could do that, but I'd, I'd have to make arrangements. <laughs> twenty-four beers. What, with the den, with the with the, with a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'd have to have a medic on Deep. on standby with yeah, a right. like, charcoal so we can. Throw it all back up. Yeah, book an appointment for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think that I think that could be a new catchphrase. Book an appointment. Book an appointment. <laughs> a book an appointment for me. Go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so just catch up on the comments. So we've had Peter from uh, the Clueless Drinker. He said hashtag first, and then uh, hats just me. I think. In reference to Craig's, <laughs> yeah, lovely fedora or pork pie, whatever, Indeed. whatever you're wearing. <laughs> uh, and then is put. We're only making plans for Hop Scene. Hop Scene's got a future in QVC, in quotes. Yeah. So that's probably something cool that Peter knows. That, uh, that I don't. Is that is that is that an XTC? Um. As in making plans, plans for Nigel. Oh, it could be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then, uh, Set, Setu Stain One says, Evening. Evening. Hello. Hiya. And then Paul from you? PA Brew News has said, Lap Dancing <laughs> Club? Regret? Question mark. No, well. <laughs> I bet Paul's regretted a few nights in a lap dance club. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's that, that was that was the comments. Cool. Mm. So cool. five five viewers as well. Oh, mm. Everyone who's yeah, thanks for sticking around. Everybody's everyone. watching. Everybody's watching in 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 the um in the future. Yeah, yeah. Get on this blue. Buy some yeah. beers. Yeah, get them on. It'd be there. good for t- next time we like when we get the beers. Try and we'll try and post them out a bit earlier. Yeah, just so people can drink along. That that that'd be really good to get that as- aspect of it going i think we've been finding our feet for the last couple of episodes so we'll definitely i think next time we'll try and we'll try our best we're all busy people <laughs> we'll try our best to uh let let uh let you know let people know far in advance so we can all drink along together i think that'd be a cool aspect to it yeah but if not you can buy them now and then you can re-watch it yeah leave a comment indeed that's Absolutely, it. and leave a comment. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Nice one. Cool. cool. Right. Until next time. So that time. was all from us. Indeed. That so was we'll all. see you. That, that was all on of the it. next one. I don't know when it is. We'll we'll let you know. <laughs> and as soon as the send is in the box of beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so soon. <sighs> Craig. Whatever. Yeah, see you later.